Hello tribe, different setup, hey? <laughs> so I've asked you tonight, I couldn't sleep. On my community section, I've asked you, would you like to see sequence of relationship readings? And as you know, I am someone who likes to guide you um, with your own, regarding your own issues, because I think that way is the best to go about relationships, right? The moment you know what's not working for you, what you're aiming for, how to get there is the moment other people come in your life too. But I would like to make these readings more specific for you guys so we avoid the confusion because I know that might be happening for a lot of you when you click on relationship reading and it doesn't have a specific title so sometimes you don't even know if that's for you or not okay and people tend to kind of take whatever messages sometimes and whatever they want to hear and I want to avoid this on on my channel because I want you guys to be guided as specifically as possible, okay? So the title of this reading will be for singles only, for those who have no or little communication with this other person, and we're gonna be looking at what's on their mind. By the way, these, are, these envelopes I have from the beginning of the start of my youtube channel and i remember joey was using them too and he was like i really like them but i never liked them that much they have quick messages in them okay just one or couple of words so these will be kind of main energies for you guys and also inside the envelope we've got the keeper card so take a look at each envelope. I would prefer guys though, if you chosen from envelopes, even though they all look the same, but use your intuition, not your eyes. I've only put stones for those who are sometimes complaining that they can't choose, but I like to, I would like you to develop your intuition with me. Okay, so I might do one or the other from time to time, so it suits both groups. So zone out. I would prefer if you closed your eyes and if you didn't choose with your eyes or preference of a stone, okay, just kind of see, maybe numbers would pop out in your head. So number one, number two, number three, or number four. Okay, we're starting from this side, number one is here. Take a look, zone out, listen to your gut, and I'm going to see you in the pile. Hello pile number one people. So whoever has chosen this stone over here, it's one of my favorites actually. I just love, love, love this stone. So let's take a look at this connection here. Um, these readings will be kind of quick readings, but I'm thinking I might do them more often. We'll see how my time allows, okay? So what we have here, this is your energy. That's what you're thinking about them. That is their energy. And that's what they're thinking about you and then same way goes the intuitive cards over here okay so what you have in your envelope over here it says longing and partnership so that's very straightforward longing for a partnership by the way some of you watching this might be uh, asking about the same sex okay just putting it out there um, right so how you see this connection, I'm not gonna lift cards because I think you can see them pretty well, right? Let me just adjust this. So we've got possibility here. And you see this connection as something that could potentially pan out very well, okay? And you're like, hey, you know what? I think that will go pretty well. And when it comes to you thinking about this connection, about this person rather, it says you you are a lot in your head okay pile number ones you're like hey i'm imagining things how that could go which ways this could go but this is the page energy and especially in this deck this is a very um kind of nice and naive card okay how this person though is in this connection they like you know what there's a big difference between two energies so if you know that you are not the person I'm referring to it's probably them okay choose which other resonates how this person looks at this connection they're very ambitious because they want to get what they see all right and I was like okay at first I pulled this card I was like okay okay 
let me see what they think about this connection, what they think about you. And we have success card. And I'm like, mm, put these two cards together, especially in this deck. It seems like you have a shark over there. This is success. For me, this is very much um, connection that this person seems like they want to conquer you, but in a way that wouldn't be healthy for you, okay? Um, it might be your energy, okay? As I said before, flip if you feel like you need to. Someone really wants to make someone their own. Someone else seems like they very much daydreaming about this connection and they're like, you know what? I would really want this person to text me from my intuitive deck, but it seems like you are thinking at the same time, as much as you're thinking about this connection, you're thinking about the feminine energy, uh, it's something connected with the feminine energy in this connection. Now, for some of you, it might be third party. For some of you, I feel like it's not. It's something to do, maybe a friend of some sort. Um, when you're thinking about this connection, you're thinking about um, female. Now, this person might make you think, no, might make you feel much more feminine ladylike than anyone else did okay let me see what would be the outcome of this relationship because this person is coming on strong okay this person even imagines you two being somewhere indoors and spending time okay the very I'm sensing a bit of emperor energy in this. They want to make this theirs, but it comes through with an energy that is not probably healthy for both of you because your both energies are very different. You are them. Here is very, very loving, very naive. You know what I mean? The energy of being very sincere, maybe too nice sometimes, and maybe given too much. Now, and you see this as a possibility, I could give this person that much. And this person comes through as someone who is a little bit of, they have this animal urge, you know, they, they, they want to be this person who has you only, who are, who's a bit controlling, and they want you, you know when you have people who pay money, for someone to go with them on red carpet so that they would look good and they would usually um, hire someone who is very good looking. That is how this person sees you. They see you as a gem, but in a way that they like, I wanna have them for myself, which I don't really like in this connection here. See how it goes for you. Maybe you are this person who's like, I want them, you know? <laughs> but. It seems like this person might be playing a bit of mind games here. That is why I'm like, I'm looking at that king and I'm like, you know what? Mm. Taken with, you know, my intuitive cards and especially success card at the bottom, six of wands, winning over, um, wanting to be respected, wanting this. Um, it seems like all, this person almost wants everyone to applaud them and they see you as a very good gem. Um, someone who would be great in their life, okay? Who never had that kind of um, relationship reading? Let's see. What's the future energies here? What we have? We have defense. You'll sense that. You or them will sense that, that this is what's happening. Look, and someone is being defensive already, like, hey, don't be like that. Hey, don't come too close to me, okay? defense and trust because someone will be you know what i need i need a little bit more time when it comes to this connection because i'm not sure if i can trust you and someone can really feel it intuitively especially this person represented by cups this is um energy of someone who is intuitive okay so if you feel like there is a little bit of a sense of you wanting to be defensive in this connection or when if someone steps over your boundaries know that this is your gut telling you hey you know chill out don't be that um what's the word i'm looking for for all this whole reading 
it's as if someone wants to own you in this connection and this other person goes you know what step back step back i can be nice but not too nice watch me okay intuition told you listen to your gut when it comes to this connection your gut is already telling you something especially when it comes to this feminine energy i talked about before okay maybe there's a friend that's told you something about this connection maybe female advised you something okay in general um listen to your gut your gut is telling you that you might have to be a bit defensive in this connection and you have to trust your gut I hope this made sense. I'm going to catch you in the next sequence if that's going to be your vibe. Well, when it comes to the title of the reading. Okay, guys, I hope this has helped out. Let me know if it did and I'm going to catch you next time. Bye for now. Hello, tribe. Whoever has chosen pile number two, this beautiful stone over here. We're taking a look at your envelope first. Let's see what we have. We have autumn time. So that's something that was important to you or will be important to you, okay? And we have work occupation. You joking? Take a look at these cards over here, guys. Because that's something I really wanted to talk to you about. Now, if that's not going to be your pile, choose something else because that's going to be super specific, okay? Work occupation. All right, then. Okay. Guys, how we have the cards laid out, <laughs> this was so like, I kept looking at it and I was like, really? This is your energy, how you, how you are or you feel like in this connection. That's their energy. Or you can flip situations. You know how it goes, guys. It's one or the other. And now that's how you feel about this connection, what you think about it. And that's what they feel or think about this connection. My intuitive goes the same way. Look at this. You are someone who is very abundant in many, many ways. This person sees you as someone they're very glad to have met or have crossed paths with because you are, your hair must be beautiful. Um, you are, one second, the music switched off. Your hair must be beautiful. I feel like some of you actually are abundant um, regarding well, when it comes to your material wealth, maybe you're someone who have, um, your finances are good. At least that's how this person is looking at you, okay, as well. That's what I've picked up at the very beginning. I was like, okay. And um, you are someone who does see this connection in a very treasure-like way. You're like, wow, this person is, is precious. But something that you don't understand is that this person sees you as someone who has much more than they do, okay? And sometimes maybe you don't notice how you are someone who is this treasure that you don't see it yourself, you know? Because you are, I think you are someone who has achieved much more. In life in general than this person has maybe you don't see it that way but that's how it se seems for me here now wh how, what you're thinking about this connection you have this temptation vortex card and you're you intuitively being told like hey do I want to get into this vortex because I've been there before and I'm not sure how it would go you have two very strong energies here queen of the ocean and six of wands okay abundance and success meets one another and you're like I don't know if I want to get wrapped up in this connection that much because I want to kind of keep my head clear. So please advise me what to do, okay? And how this person sees this connection, this person sees this connection as something that they could benefit from. I don't know how, why this is coming through, but that came through already with the work or career in the envelope. And I was like, hey... So it seems like in this connection, someone sees the other person as a good opportunity. Would it be financial? Would it be uh, um, professional? Would it be someone being able to help this other person to kind of go up their ladder in life? You know what I mean? Now, you are someone who I feel like you've been so drawn to this 
person sexually okay like i don't know how to keep my hands off them i don't know how to control myself myself i, I mean i don't know what to do this person has this fiery energy and i cannot stop myself but it seems like you're struggling with that sometimes you're like i don't know what to do here okay when it comes to this person this person sees you as someone who's very busy doing everything in life and taking care of yourself in the best way possible you very handsome and beautiful people whoever has chosen the second pile and they can see that they want this for themselves and they're somehow trying to catch up in life but whatever they do and it seems like your two energies are very different you're like do i want to get in involved in this i'm not sure and this person's like i really want to get involved in this because it's something precious about this connection and when you take a look at my ace of pentacles here um, it's like someone has found a gem okay the only thing that concerns me here is that in the envelope we do have the work occupation card and when it comes to this person thinking about this connection we have a uh, pentacle so you see what i'm getting already as if someone would like to benefit from this relationship somehow what can this relationship give me and this other person is like i'm really sexually drawn to you but as if i'm being held back over here i'm not sure if uh, only sexual pull is something that i need and i think one of you is kind of battling in their heads this person sees you as i mean your body is perfect for them your status is perfect for them your hair your hands especially i feel like they can see your hands whatever you do or they observe uh, your hands i don't know why maybe jewelry uh, that you wear let me see what's the future of this connection here let me see what's happening okay i feel like i want to start with the bottom let's do that we have kindness so it seems like one of you will be helping this other person out and look look at this again it's pentacles i told you about that right kindness reward okay so it seems like this connection is um i'm just gonna say it um someone can benefit from this connection more than the other person and um someone is going to be kind towards this other person okay take a look at this you know we have reward card and success over here and then prosperity at the bottom and then look it's you giving this person something now you're very interested you like you see this connection as a gem okay and you'll be like hey you know what you need this because that's what you're looking for that's how you see this connection okay i'm gonna give you something that it is that you need okay and that's how this person will get the reward that they've been looking for okay let me just lift the deck up and see what's on the bottom competition okay it seems like two people are very i told you two strong energies you might both be successful people and it's like you're trying to get something from one another you not as much this side at least not as much this side is thinking hey um do i want to get involved this other person really does want to get involved because um they are probably the ones who are competitive look take a look at these cards you see that who are competitive they also very magnetically um attract other people that is why you're like hey oh my god i can't i can't stop thinking about them and it feels like this person turns you on and this person is like you know what i feel like this person has much more than i do inside i do feel like i would like to compete with what they have but i know that i can't the thing that i'm gonna do is probably be um approach this connection in a different manner and it seems like someone will give in and help this other person out and it's not necessarily a bad thing it might work in a way where if that's something that you need if you need only a physical connection here okay that would work out perfectly well especially if you have money if that's only that you both need guys so one person needs uh financial help somehow or 
something to do with material world this other person really is drawn to uh, them this other person sexually and if that's only what you need guys this could work perfectly well okay but it would be a bit of a competition here i don't know why okay there would be competition we have options over here too it's like hey there is jealousy that comes in after a while we see here and then you have to once you decide to go for this you'll have to take this connection with all rep responsibilities that this connection comes with okay so it seems a little bit like hey you are hot hey you have this and that that i need from you and there is an exchange so it's your decision would you want to go for it or not up to you what is it that you're looking for okay i hope this kind of giving you clarity of some sorts panel number two and i'm gonna catch you next time bye for now hello my people whoever has chosen third one over here we're taking a look at your reading guys so how are we doing this now you know how vice versa works right so we first have your energy here their energy regarding this connection and then at the bottom what you think about this connection what they think about it same goes with my intuitive here okay so when I tune into you it seems like you <laughs> this connection somehow has inspired you to do more in life um, take it because it seems like whoever this person is they have given you this fresh breath of air to start something new or to do things that you haven't done before or approach life a bit in a different perspective. So maybe the um, communication that you had, it kind of somehow changed your view on life, okay? And how you think about this connection, there is restriction over here, okay? So it says, I don't know why, but I feel like this is not moving forward. What is this restriction? It seems like this restriction happened because it's very much connected with the higher realm um would it be your deceased or angel kind of putting you on hold here regarding this connection saying hey you know what it's not it's not the time yet you know what you have to kind of keep on doing things that you're doing right now and it's very frustrating here because when you tune into this person's energy, what I see here is that this person sees this connection as everything that they need, okay? Plus my intuitive card is saying, hey, this person feels that this connection is, is the one kind of thing, okay? And I'm just saying it because we have not only 10 of cups, but my intuitive, when this card pops out, I know it's a real deal, all right? So this person very much feels this connection in their heart, in their soul, and it's just like, it's everything that they want. And you're like, hey, thank you for inspiring me. I don't know why, but I feel a little bit blocked from this connection or things are not moving the way they should be moving. And, I, and I'm not gonna be the one who fixes it at this very moment, okay? What this, con what this person thinks about this connection, um, <laughs> I mean, how they see you is like you have given them some kind of again six of cups man let me just tell you that this person sees this connection as a past life connection okay two people were separate they came back together and they separated um on a emotional but rather com communication level over here okay this person is in their fields. Take a look at how many cups we have over here. It's insane. Paired up with my higher soul card uh, from intuitive deck on the right. This is a like bang. Okay. There is something that you have to work on, especially when it comes to your thoughts. Uh, you might get stuck in your head too often, guys. And maybe that's why this connection is put on hold. They're saying, hey, get your head together first before we allow this connect connection to continue and this person also has taken time to reflect on what it is that they want okay we have reflection at the very bottom this deck i read a bit differently right from other six of cups here but this person is like hey you know what 
this again this connection somehow made me realize that I didn't know as much as I thought that I knew in life okay who let's take a look at your future let me see what cards are gonna tell us I mean this is gonna be an interesting one right thank you okay okay I'm doing it messily on purpose so that cards <laughs> can pop out okay I fe feel like that one wants to come out we have stability nice and paired up with pentacles this is extra stability right and generosity take a look at this I mean this is a very very strong pile whoever has chosen it it seems like this connection will always be you it's like you won't lose this but lose this person from your life um, this is going to be the stable equal give and take connection but more so not as much about communication more so when you need help I'll be there okay and now how can you make this connection work firstly there is one blockage here when it comes to eight of swords someone has to put their heads together kind of thing you know if you can't sleep if you keep thinking about it if you tend to be a little bit um, obsessive over someone in a in the nicest way possible okay this saying hey we're giving you a break so you can come back to yourself in a way okay I don't know why I'm feeling Sag energy here because Sages tend to over obsess about projects and uh, and people okay they're very like quick witted and they're very optimistic and therefore when they start when they see something that they really like they just have to get it you know and it becomes this period of being a bit obsessive okay not in the bad way but it can work in a, in that way for the person all right now i do see with the strength card over here it seems like someone has a hard shell on and that shell will be cracked in the future okay the emotions will be released the everything that was kind of kept inside for you or them will be released in the future and uh, i think that is why this connection will become even more stable in this case because something has to be released and someone is repressing the emotions inside of them and therefore this cannot be equal give and take or someone is super emotional okay and super open about how they feel but maybe there was a moment where they didn't see the same energy coming from you and they closed off a bit or they became a bit distant okay but they saying hey anyhow I still feel it in my soul kind of thing okay <laughs> so guys for you I really really love this let me see did I check your envelope yet I don't think I did we have new offer you see what's happening I feel like there's going to be a renewal to this connection for sure guys and we've got living room someone keeps on thinking about this connection in a dark room um, behind closed doors somewhere alone there are so many thoughts okay so someone is really contemplating about this connection but it seems like someone else is not fully ready for it and it sucks sometimes when we, people think that they are ready but um, the higher forces go no you're not yet therefore we won't bring you together and the only blockage here that I'm seeing is the mind I feel like there might be one more I'm just gonna lift the deck up and see what is the other blockage here I told ya I swords 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 ideas we need to get to to the state of peace okay to the state to the state of calmness because now those ideas and those thoughts about something is restricting you from moving forward with this connection okay so i hope this helped out pile number three let me know if it did and i'll catch you next time bye for now hello tribe whoever has chosen this stone over here we're starting with your reading so wow <laughs> what's up right how we doing things that's your energy both of these that's their energy meaning how you see each other in a way how you, you both see this connection right and the same goes for my intuitive cards 
So what's happening here, let's start from you, your side. And as you know, sometimes it can be vice versa. So flip, okay, if you feel like it's not you I'm talking about. Now you see this connection as written in the stars, for sure. Okay, you like, I know this will happen, uh, it's just a matter of time. Because you see this person as someone who's super down to earth, I'm just getting it, you know, super down to earth. You have a lot of loving energy in you and you're like, it seems like you're very busy with your life and you're not as much cling clinging on to this connection. And you're like, I'm gonna leave it to the fortune, okay? I will keep on doing what I'm doing in life and I will just leave it there because deep down inside my soul, I know we're coming together. Okay, very straightforward. Now this person sees this connection as I'm going to do anything to get it moving. I mean, literally moving, right? With the chariot over here, it seems like this, this person wants to risk it. And now with my intuitive card, this is saying there might be a physical distance between you two guys. And this person might be a little bit scared when it comes to you because it seems like they see you as someone. I don't know if you if you are professional or not, but it seems like you might be a mystic or you might be working with energy somehow. And this person goes, you know what? I know it's risky business, but I feel like I would want to take a risk with this connection. And you're like, okay, I'm minding my own business. I'm just going to do whatever. And I'm not going to make the move, but I'll keep the love in my heart. Now, this person is very much movement oriented. They like, I'm, I'm on the move. I'm on the mission. I'm going to come and get it. And they they see you also someone who is very respected in your circle. They almost see you a bit like a royal. I don't know why there is a royal vibe to you. Is it the way you dress? Is it the way you speak? Is it the way you present yourself? It's up to you. But there is a sense of royalty when it comes to you. And this person, it seems like they haven't met anyone else um, who is who does have the same energy, okay? Not only powerful um, abilities you have, but also you the way you look is very intriguing for them. Now, if you know that this is not you who is minding your own business and just living life, not thinking about this connection too often, but you have love in your heart, you know it's them. And this is you who wants to take this risk when it comes to this connection. Be like, hey, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it because this is a jam, okay, literally. Now, it seems like when it comes to, I'm just gonna continue with this side as you. When I when it comes to the intuitive deck, I'm seeing here that someone is, there is a person who is involved somehow in this connection apart from you and them, not in a bad way, okay? Someone might be advising you or you might be getting ancestral signs from above uh, regarding this connection. And they're like, you know what? I'm going to advise you. Don't be fearful. Um, it might be a bit intense, but this is how it should go. It's something about this connection. It has to go that way. Okay, so let's take a look at the future here. I'm going to shuffle this deck in the most messy way possible so that I'd allow cards to pop up, okay? <laughs> Let me wait, wait. This is so slippery, guys. This deck is like one of them. Oh, all right. Okay, let's see the future. We have loyalty. Mm, loyalty. And we've got limbo. Okay, we're gonna clarify why we are in the limbo. And it seems like that same person who is coming towards now, they're being hung, hung up that tree or branch of, of some sorts, okay? So maybe that is why fear is coming through here. Someone is fearful. If they will make this move, everything will become stagnant. And there might be a period of stagnant time here when it comes to making a move of some sorts, okay? 
but the, there was one person who's super loyal to this connection and they're like i'll wait as much as i have to but make sure if that's you that you don't stop your life from moving because whoever is loyal and loyal in this, in this connection they keep living their life very much okay so it's like do not block yourself from opportunities you can still love someone but live your life too meaning you'd love yourself as well okay let's take a look at what else we've got why is this limbo here order okay there is an order needed when it comes to this connection there is something regarding the security in this connection that is not accomplished just yet so it might be you or them who is very much concentrated will be in the future concentrated on those pentacles here and order in their own life therefore everything will become a bit stagnant in this connection and i would i would offer if that's you if you know that's you i would offer you to maybe concentrate on what is it that is holding you back because someone is being held back in this connection uh, by ancestors spiritual beings okay saying like it's not the time yet it's not the time yet yes this is gonna be brilliant but you need a bit more time because if you would look how this person if you would jump into this connection now there would be that stagnant energy anyways about it and it might hurt you even more okay you are them let's take a look at your envelope here let's see what we have rich oh really so that might be the issue here because we had the security matters okay yeah we had security and maybe someone in this connection wants to become much more successful than they are now and they're not worthy enough they don't feel worthy enough okay something about that young man so i feel like this young man in this connection wants to be the rich guy okay for sure being like you know what i don't think i am ready yet but my gut is telling me to risk it and just go towards that person there is a big difference of um someone who is living their life i mean working interested in hobbies of some sorts communicating with other people socializing you know doing all these things and um, they don't need as much money they have all this love and this other person is very much like i'm going for this connection i don't care i'm moving towards you but what they struggle with is that security okay and the moment they decide to take this risk is the moment where they understand that whoa this is actually maybe not the time yet because i need to have my finances together and finances somehow are very important in this connection especially for that person who is very much wanting to jump into this uh, connection and come together and maybe because there is distance between two people hence why finances is needed in order to be together okay yes i do have this loyalty in my heart but it seems like you know everything is moving very slowly when it comes to pentacles can i once i've taken this risk of some sort um pull through financially so i would say this is like a scenario where two people live in different places and someone goes i don't care what it is uh, what's gonna happen i'm just gonna move towards you okay and that's when we have the hangman because the finances were not intact okay you needed more money or they needed more money in order to make this work but two people seems like um i do feel this connection is genuine guys i really do i think that you might be being kept apart now because there is that distance that has to be worked on okay and that is physical distance i'm talking only if that's not you guys maybe pick another pile because i'm only talking to the physical distance over here okay i hope this made sense and i'm gonna catch you next time bye for now